When I started law school, as I said earlier, there were only five law students in Canada. There were three lawyers in Canada when native I started, law. native native lawyers. Um, as a result of that, I was the first Alberta Indian to graduate from law school, which again translated into, because of that, uh, being the first Indian, treaty Indian elected to the Parliament of Canada. I hate to think about where I would be today without sports. And I really mean that seriously because growing up on the reserve with all the usual negative statistics you hear about, I think one of the tickets out, not in a negative sense, but to get to advance yourself was through sports. For me anyway, and that's what really, really helped. And it's true. I mean, there's there's been a lot of instances where there's been uh, negative experiences or just outright um, bad treatment of my peoples or racial discrimination against my peoples. And for me, the medium that I use to overcome that, I can't get away from it because it always comes back to me. And that is with sport. Because as you know, in sports, for example, the, you cannot be phony in a heat of competition. That's why I organized the Indigenous Games. Um, to a point now where if you can see a stadium where there's 8,200 Indian athletes competing with 2,000 some cultural participants and thousands of spectators, um, it shows you that there is an area of our life in society that transcends all of those negatives and it has been sport. In 1977, I was asked to, to chair a meeting in Sweden on an international law called the Convention 169, which is an international law about indigenous peoples, uh, all aspects of indigenous life, whether it's education or uh, health, uh, government, uh, all the economic, social and cultural rights are wrapped into this one international law. I was asked to chair that meeting, which was a world conference. And that really got me going into the area of uh, international law. Now it's been 22 years I've been going to the United Nations. <laughs> so basically it's lawmaking. You're, you're doing lawmaking at the international level through the United Nations system. When you practice law, you tend to interpret, you interpret the law. When you're a parliamentarian, you're making the law. So professionally, it gave me a, a, a better picture of law in a sense in our country. Uh, a more, well, both sides of the law in a sense that the experience of being one of the members of parliament in Canada is just, I uh, uh, can't find the right words to do it except the honor of it. <laughs>